Hello there guys, how's it going? Back out to the uh, shelter number one. It's been quite a while. I mean, I've been up here, but um, I've not done any work on it. I've stayed here in months, nearly a year. I think it was like last February. Um, yeah, it's a little sorry for itself in places. Um, I'll uh, plug some holes, but I'm not gonna do too much work because like the other shelter, this one's gonna go as well. So if I get one last night up here and uh, yeah, there's not much point in doing too much work to it because um, it's going to come down tomorrow. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I've brought the stove up as I've used here before. It's got the tarp roof and I've got the stove jack. Um, it's been very dry inside. This shelter because it's got the tarp roof is, is brilliant. Um, it's only just started to have some of the moss dry out and fall out of the cracks and stuff. and bits like this just coming down on the returns walls on the front here but it is very very solid still especially the back and side walls um, yeah so I'll do a couple of little bits just to make it comfortable tonight and uh, get some firewood prep and whatnot it's um, getting late in the day already uh, just the way it is in winter <laughs> there is there is no light um, moving towards the uh, shortest day now so yeah I'll uh, get on with a few odd jobs for uh, dark and then probably do a fire and some dinner. Got some extra kindling that I'm going to leave in the shelter here. Uh, we're expecting rain tonight and into the morning, so I can use that for either the stove or for a fire in the morning. We'll see. I know I'll have some dry stuff. I'll do the same for the fuel.
Right, so I've got uh, some old firewood for the uh, fire lay here, for the base. Got some bracken and some uh, birch bark. Got some first stage and second stage kindling. Some broken down and some uh, fuel. Getting bigger and bigger. You may or may not remember that uh, the times I've stayed here I tend to bring these um, battery powered Christmas lights just because they light this shelter up brilliantly they go right across the back here and I've even had them across the front as well and it just works so well so I've brought them along today and I'll uh, put the controls that in because that's the end I sleep But uh, these are a good option for a tent or any kind of shelter. They, they put out a lot of light. And obviously they spread that light as well. There we go. <laughs> They'll look more effective um, a bit later. Yeah, I might put the other ones up as well. I've got them, why not? Well, I'm uh, going to turn this fire into a bit of a long fire. Just means less sawing of wood to uh, spread it out rather than using bit, small bits. I've had to do a lot more small bits for the stove later, maybe in the morning. So, yeah, just been doing that while the sun's been setting. And uh, yeah, it's getting darker than what it looks like to you guys. Head torch time soon. Got a pheasant going there as well.
I'm actually going to miss this camp. It's quite a comfortable little shelter and I never quite finished it the way I wanted to. I mean, a big part of that was I built it right at the beginning of the year, or the end of last year, the winter, and uh, I took that kind of three, four month break. And uh, in that break I wasn't really camping or anything, even off camera, which I think I do usually do. But uh, yeah, it never really got to be what it should have been, which is my fault. And then I got uh, sort of doing a bit of here and there in camping all over the place and building the new shelter as a doing the day one, which was meant to come down the next day. But uh, yeah, just uh, started adding to it. <laughs> it's just quite a nice spot. It stays green a lot longer than the rest, like around here, just brown, drab. It's uh, nicer to look at around there, I think, but it's a bit more peaceful here. can hear a road a couple of miles that way in the winter right now because of the uh, lack of foliage on the trees. But um, it's a, a quieter spot of the woodland, more out of the way. But yeah, and it's obviously where my lean-to was before this shelter. Oh, I feel a bit of wood was a bit wet. <laughs> But um, I'll, I'll still camp here, just uh, not building. So just a normal setup here, uh, just so I used the other week in the uh, other camp. Just my mountain warehouse bag, free season bag, a uh, bivy bag, Thermarest, x light. I've got a full blanket with me this time as well because I had room because I brought the stove up um, yesterday and left it here overnight. Forward thinking. We've got a nearly full moon starting to poke its head out now. So there should be quite a lot of light tonight. It's a very hot fire now. I've put um, a couple of bits of pine at the back that were the base of a bench I had here long ago. So it wasn't the driest, but I put it at the back there, just keep the fire from the fire reflector, which is very dry now. It may even end up on the fire later, because <laughs> I don't need it anymore. But yeah, it's a very hot fire, which is good, because it's starting to chill down a bit. Been processing a bit of wood down some smaller ones whole, some others halved, and um, that should probably be enough for this evening in the uh, stove. I'll be by the fire most of the evening, it's only for later on when I'm in here maybe having a read or something. There's the view of the fire from inside the shelter. It's not really close enough to warm in here properly, hence the stove. So I'm going to sit back out there for a while. Well, I always get told I don't eat enough vegetables on these camps, so here's a plethora of them. <laughs> Got some peppers, a chilli, leek, mushroom, some uh, onion and um, some of a squash, butternut squash. So I'm going to get this chopped up and uh, then get the meat ready as well.
pan with a bit of oil in it. Okay, there's one chicken fire. Well, I just did have quite a big accident. The handle on my pan fouled. And a lot of it went on the floor. I managed to salvage some, and there was a bit of juice left in the pan still, because it didn't go completely over. Shame, but I've got the chicken, I've got the sausages, I've got most of the, um, the squash, and it is very, very nice. All of it would have been better, <laughs> but I'm going to enjoy what I've got. Mm. I think that's the first time something like that's happened to me on one of these. I was going to bring my skillet, I should have done, the cast iron one. I was being lazy and bringing something lighter. <laughs> So as you can see I'm in the shelter now, burner's going and it's really starting to warm up now. There is gaps in here but it does hold some heat, got a tarp door on because I never finished the proper door, <laughs> but uh, yeah, getting cosy, woolly hat's still on but uh, I think they'll get warm enough that I don't need it soon. So yeah, I'm just going to chill out in here for a bit before bed, may even do a hot chocolate or a cup of tea on top of the stove there, we'll see. But uh, yeah, other than dropping food tonight, it's uh, it's been a good evening. <laughs>
Good morning. It was a uh, quite a long night, long cold night. <laughs> There's a uh, sub-zero out here. Um, I don't know exactly what. Um, by the stove on the stove end of the shelter, it was up to like 20, I think, 20 degrees. So yeah, it was, it was all right while the stove was going. Uh, long evening, obviously. I've woke up quite hungry. Um, lost some of my dinner to the ground last night, so uh, yeah, I've got a bit of an appetite. Um, I've got the stove going already, it seems to be burning away nicely, so I think I'm going to get the pan straight on it. The sun's only just come up, really, um, but yeah, it's coming up late, isn't it? <laughs> Being winter. So I'm going to get this pan on and uh, make some huevos rancheros. <laughs> just going to lightly toast off these. Uh, small tortillas before I start anything else. How good does that look? All right, I'm gonna go in for a mouthful. All right, I'm going to enjoy this. This is really good. I forgot to bring some chipotle sauce to stick in it, but other than that, just a bit more of a zing. Ooh. That's a very nice breakfast. <laughs>
that's me pretty much packed up now I was waiting for the stove to cool and stuff I um, think I'm actually going to come back tomorrow and do the takedown I was going to do it this morning but it took a while for the stove to cool down and everything and uh, there's rain blowing in pretty quick um, plus batteries and stuff for the camera I think tomorrow's just going to be better I'll just come out uh, for the morning or something maybe even cook something while I do the takedown on the uh, bush box but yeah I'll, I'll save that for tomorrow because it's going to start pouring now so uh, yeah thanks for watching guys and uh, I'll catch you on the next one goodbye for now